weaken is because they want to catch lightning in a bottle. They want to be able to be to force whoever they're signed with is to push them, right? It's kind of like the labels. If you're not hot, why are they gonna push you? And right. I feel like that's that's worked for Roly Romero. Uh, it's kind of worked against Shakur Stevenson in a sense. That's why now he's beefing with Bob Arum. He just dissed Bob Arum. I don't know if you've seen that. Uh, well, he's talking about Bob Arum doesn't make the decisions anymore. He's just there. About, like, I'm like, you know, it's probably true, but you don't really have to say that. And, um, you know, he's trying to learn from the Bud Crawford mistakes in a sense. But, you know, he didn't get all these fights because he was a top rank for all those years. And now he's chasing Canelo. So, I I, I, I kind of get what these some of these guys are doing, and they do have to um, put their careers at first. And I think Shakur Stevenson is a prime example because he is he is screaming for a big fight. He's begging for one. He can't get We're it. Now, man, we, we got Loma. It's funny how overnight Loma goes from not even being in the conversation to, like, he has to be next for either Tank or Shakur. Has to Listen, be Loma. I'm going to be honest with you, man. And that's why I wanted to start off the show uh, with, with the with, I started off the title with Javante wants smoke with Loma. I'm gonna say this. I'm happy I, for I just interviewed, I don't know if you saw it. I interviewed um Kenny Ellis, which is one of Oh Kenny. no, I didn't see it. Yeah, last night I interviewed him. So it's, okay. on, it's on YouTube now. I'll check it out. And what what happened what happened with him? We were just talking about you know what he thought about the Loma fight, you know, about him tank fighting him next. Um he said that from what he saw, Tank would knock Loma out quick. That's what he said. So he saw some holes, holes in the chinks in the armor. I, I'll say this: I don't see, and this is what I believe. And I think I think Loma's first of all. I think Loma looked amazing, but also Loma knew that 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 Cambosis couldn't hurt him, so he could fight him a certain way. And that's just my opinion. I will say this: Loma will fight Gervonta differently it's not going to be a situation where he's not going to avoid the power and the one thing that loma did really well he was very active very accurate and was in and out he but he took more chances because he, he didn't believe cambosis could hurt him i believe and this is what i believe in that fight i feel like the one thing i did notice was loma's size like he's just not a big guy he really is no, a big guy no he's barely oh. he's he could he could fight at 30 i think he's no, absolutely uh, a 30 pounder 100 percent yeah. And the one thing I'll say about him fighting Gervonta, and this is just me mentally breaking it down, is Gervonta has to be a little more active in, the, in some of these fights. Like it's and He can't sit there and wait for the big shot versus Lomachenko. Lomachenko just keep taking rounds and rounds. He's just that good. Um, Gervonta would have to be more active. Now, does Gervonta believe Loma could hurt him? I don't know. Loma looked good. He put him out with a body shot. He he pretty much made Cambosis look like what's Cambosis doing that? The way he dominated him, in my opinion, is something that Devin didn't do. And remember, you know, to, you know, um, I think Devin beat him like that, but not the way like, he made him look crazy. Even Tiafimo lost to him. And these are these are notable guys, right? He looked like he looked younger, he looked smart. So I think his cerebral is a lot of things he can do now. In terms of knocking him out quick, he doesn't fight. Cambos is the same way. He just does. I don't agree with Kenny Atlas in that aspect. And I feel like sometimes uh, Gervonta just sits on the big shot. And I feel like he has to be more active. You can't sit there. Loma's too good to give away rounds to. So I think it's a great fight, man. I, I, I definitely, definitely am looking to see. And, and listen, I got to give one of these to Gervonta. Well, yeah. oh, my fault. Not that one. Because finally, we're going to see him fight some of these guys. And, and listen, if he beats Lomachenko... I take my hat off to him. Lomachenko is phenomenal. Like, well, I mean, what did you think about the fight? We don't know who he's fighting. I think he's gonna fight. I think I think he will. What do What do you know. think? Well, I mean, I, I believe he's gonna fight Ryan before that, and but we, it all depends on Ryan's suspension because Ryan will get suspended. But uh, what do you think about his uh, performance? <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, which performance? Uh, Lomachenko and Cambosis. I mean. He- what you always get from Loma, you get, you get f- angles. His footwork is, he has faster feet than Shakur. Yeah. Which is so rare, right? Shakur is very quick getting in, getting out, hopping in like an energizer bunny. Boom, 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 boom. Loma not only does that, but he also goes around you. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, yeah. boom. He goes all around you very quick with his feet. Um, his very fast, snappy punches too. It kind of reminds me of, of of how Manny would hit you from angles. Like it was weird. It's very similar. And what he does, if you noticed, he gets dudes. The hardest punch is a punch that's thrown down. Okay. When you're throwing in a downward trajectory, down, you generate way more leverage. Okay. And Loma throws all his punches down because he 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 moves and he gets dudes who, while they're ducking down. And as they're ducking down, now they're lower and he could aim down. And that makes his punches a little harder. Uh, he's a very fast and snappy <laughs> puncher. Mm-hmm. If you look, a lot of his punches, the same thing Pacquiao did. Pacquiao, yeah. so you're taught to throw a left hook this way, yeah. right? But Pacquiao throws it this way. So mm. it's side, and it and he aims it. He doesn't aim. He doesn't aim. Uh, what with this parallel, I guess. Yeah. He aims down. So he turns over his fist and he aims down. That's interesting. Down. And that's what Loma does a lot of times. Um, and those punches create more power. Um, mm. significantly. I mean, that's why one of the reasons why Klitschko and Deontay Wilder knock people out. They were punching down at everybody because they're so much taller. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it, it makes a difference. It's crazy because he's not a big guy. He's not a tall fighter either. He's not. No. He's not that big at all. If you look at Bud, a lot of Bud's punches, yeah, punches down. This is a big thing. People don't realize this. Punching down and short. Bud is a Bud is the master at short punches. Short punches, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the leverage he gets in the punches, and the way you know everything he does, he's he's, yeah, you know, yeah. um. Yeah, and you know that stuff. Like I learned that years ago. When you just do enough work, either sparring and hitting the bag. The bag's the best way. You hit the bag a, a lot. You know, I've probably been on the bag for thousands, hundreds of thousands of rounds. I don't even know. And you, you feel, you play with it, and you feel what what's harder. You know, what's quicker. You know, you you just keep working with it, working with it, and, and fine tuning it. Mm-hmm. You know, and you can feel when a punch lands. You you know, you could see the way the bag pops. You you get an idea. So that's kind of the way uh, now, these guys do it. And then Lomo was he was he he looked really good. He looked brand new. He I mean yeah yeah. I mean maybe it's the opponent, but I, people want to downplay it. Oh, Cambosis is this. You can't say Cambosis is this and that, and then give Devin Haney credit for beating him. He did beat Tiafimo. It is what it is. Listen, he he was undisputed at one point. He just, but the way he took him out, bro, from the from the from the onslaught from the beginning when the bells rang, he was on him, and I was like, yo, he's gonna stop him. He just looks really sharp. I was like, wow, Loma looks good, man. I mean, I think he's like thirty six at that. You know what I mean? Yeah, he is thirty six. Um, yeah. He looked good, and I, and I I will say this: I'm happy Gervonta came out and said he wants him next. What's the biggest knock on Javante? Doesn't take the big guys. Doesn't fight the best guys in his division. And, and I'm happy he came out and said, no, you know what? I want to make that fight happen. Now, if people can, people can say whatever. Oh, but, uh, you know, he's fighting him when he's older. Listen, that was a dominating performance. He didn't just decide to to attempt to fight this man off of, of him looking old. He looks good. Mm-hmm. And I would give him a, I would give him all the credit in the world if he goes out and knocks out Lomachenko because Lomachenko has never been knocked out. He is who he is, and I don't think it's I don't think it's as easy as as it's Kenny Atlas saying. I really don't. I don't believe it's it's an early knockout. I mean, I mean, how do you feel about the matchup between uh, possibly Lomachenko versus Javante Davis? That's a tough one, man. I go with Tank over everybody, right? But really? okay. I do, I do. But 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 you know, by by a, a, a small margin, um, I think Tank is just. It's tough though because Loma could conceivably just <laughs> angle around him and box his box his socks off. Yeah. So it's tough. That's why we love this division so much because yeah, I could see Shakur beating Tank. I could see Tank beating Shakur. I could see. T.O. beating both of them, I could see them be. I mean, it can go either way. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, it, it, it's it. I think a lot of people base the. It's, it's because of the power we would take, obviously. Because I feel like Tank, he just isn't active enough, bro. 
Mm. Like, I don't think when it comes to a certain level, you can't just wait for the big shot. These guys know it's coming. You know what I mean? He did he did against Santa Cruz, and, and a lot of people felt like Santa Cruz was beating him until he just walked him down in the corner and knocked him out. Santa Cruz is not Lomachenko. He's not. No. I'm sorry. Lomachenko is very active. He got the best footwork in boxing probably ever seen, or close to it. Yeah, and he's, and he's active. He he throws punches from angles, and he's gonna catch. He's gonna catch him. So it's one of those situations. Is Tank gonna throw more punches in this fight? Is or is he gonna do the same thing? And, and I don't think he could do that. So to me, I, I have a fifty fifty too. I'm not gonna lie because Tank is very very smart. Like he's a very intelligent fighter. He's not an idiot, you know. So it's gonna be a. a, 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 a it's going to be a cerebral match more so than a power versus speed type match. So, right. I don't know, man. It, it's it's a it's a great fight. Like this is one that I would definitely pay eighty for. 